Showtime, Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Errol Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire in association with Amateur Boxing Champions probably presents some of the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and Amateur Boxing Champions viewers and subscribers. Now, I'm just these, these, these coming out like hotcakes, these, 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 vi these video reviews, these video analysis of the USA Amateur Boxers that I... Sean Porter and Sean Natal had the chance to interview back in October when we were in Colorado Springs for about three or four days. Uh, it was a really great time. And one of the fighters we had a chance to interview, and that's what this video is about, is none other than Laredo, Texas' very own uh, Emilio Garcia. Now, there's so many freaking Texans on this team. I mean, Joshua Edwards is a Texan. Kayla Gomez is a Texan. And I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but like, this is damn near like the Texas... The Texas U.S. The, the Texas team. It's not even the USA boxing team. They're they're in Texas team. But as far as Emilio Garcia is concerned, he's, he's he's an interesting guy because I would say out of everybody we interviewed, he probably spoke the the least. He didn't really speak a lot. So there's not really a, a ton I could get into off memory of off of what he said because he's just one of those quiet, soft spoken type of guys. But as they say, it's the quiet ones you gotta uh, really really worry about now. While I was sitting here, right, while I was like kind of researching some things for this video, I actually went ahead and I really took a good look at his at his resume to see who he's fought, who he's beaten, because he didn't really say a whole lot when we interviewed him that I can remember right now as far as who he's beat, who he's fought. But truth be told, if we're going off of just name value, he might have like the best resume that I've seen of all the other, you know, apart from like Raheem Gonzalez, apart from Raheem Gonzalez, he may just have the best resume as far as the fighters he's beaten because they're names that we as boxing fans know. I mean, like, for example, in 2018 at the USA, uh, you know, J JOs, at, at the USA JL, the, the Junior Olympics, he defeated uh, Floyd Schofield in the semifinal. Um, if you fast forward to 2019 in the, uh, in the regionals uh, against Emiliano Vargas, who just turned pro, he beat him by split decision. So you have him. Yeah, that's so you have Floyd Schofield. Miliano Vargas, you know, fast forward a little bit later on, he beat Abdullah Mason by split decision. So that's another one. Uh, who else you got? Who else you got? I mean, the, the, the names just keep coming in. Um, he also beat uh, Abdullah Mason's uh, other brother, Abdul Rahman Mason, in the, uh, in the Nationals, in the final. So, you know, those are four quality wins. Two of the Mason brothers, Miliano Vargas, Floyd Schofield, I mean, this guy actually has a really good resume, and he spoke like nothing of it. You you wouldn't even know he was a boxer for half the time when we, talk, we were talking to him. So honestly, I guess the main thing that, that would stand out about um, Emilio Garcia is his humility. Because I never knew, if, if I didn't take the time, if I, wasn't the, the, the due diligent, if I wasn't the diligent person that I am covering the sport of boxing, I would have never known that he had a win over Abdullah Mason in the amateurs, Abdul Rahman Mason in the amateurs, Floyd Schofield, Emiliano Vargas. I mean, he's got a pretty damn good CV, a, a pretty damn good resume. So, you know, shout out to uh, Emilio uh, Garcia. As far as his fighting style, it's very much uh, a traditional uh, Texas boxing style. Now, for those who are not from America, you know, the thing about American boxing is that each region has different styles of fighting. And uh, Texas fighters, the way I would describe the Texas style is like a style where it's very compact. It's like, you know, it's very much about, it's not about flash and flair. It's more so about um, efficiency, hand positioning, and really uh, beating guys up on the inside. And that's what Emilio, Emilio Garcia does. Um, he's not, it's not, it don't look pretty all the time. Don't look, you know, the most aesthetically pleasing, but he's got a, a, an effectiveness about him. He knows how to you know, let his hands go and, and really impose himself on opponents. And I could see why with that style in a three round fight, why he would have why he would have wins over guys like Abdullah Mason and Floyd Schofield because those guys, their style might be more catered to professional boxing and they might be more of a slow starter as to what with this guy. I feel like he's the kind of guy that in the amateurs would, would be able to win a lot of the rounds. And in the pros would would be a solid fighter, you know, for all, you know, 
eight to ten rounds once once he got the experience. So um, yeah, you know, I, I like Emilio Garcia. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to him a little bit more to, to, to get more information on him, but probably probably um, the guy who said the least. But you know, for for going off of who he's beaten, he's done some of the most things out of everybody on this team as far as the guys he's beaten. So you gotta respect him. You gotta respect somebody who's who's humble like him, who really just you know he's he's all about the sport. You know, uh, just a, just a really good down to earth young man, and and we'll put him again. We're we'll, we're we'll putting the whole team on metal watch. Because I think Coach Billy Walsh has, has a good culture set in place to where these kids have an understanding of how they need to be fighting to be winning these medals. And um, when you get a guy like like Emilio Garcia has a, is a is a kind of fighter, I feel like his style is actually, you know, it's made for you know it's made for pros as well. But I'm saying it, it it can have a lot of success in amateur boxing as it already has against you know the names I already mentioned. So there you have it. Emilio Garcia, Laredo, Texas is very young. Those are my uh, thoughts on him. Let me know what you guys think about him down below. And then we'll be covering him along with all the other, you know, USA boxing uh, elite amateurs as they progress forward to the, uh, you know, Olympics in the coming years. But, uh, yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncle would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you, you do, you've done Thank it. You You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I want to say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man. And make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at just a kid from Danny as well. Ooh, he he the plug.